There's been an important change in the president's national security team today. National Security Advisor Tom Donlan, seen here watching the raid on Osama bin Laden, is leaving after four years. He'll be replaced by Susan Rice, the U.S. Ambassador to the U.N. President Obama chose Samantha Power for the U.N. post. Power worked on human rights in the administration and wrote a Pulitzer Prize winning book on genocide. Major Garrett is at the White House for us this evening. Major. Scott, a quiet and powerful force, Tom Donlan was often the last advisor President Obama consulted on big military and foreign policy decisions. Donlan almost never invited controversy. The same cannot be said of his replacement. Spun from there Susan Rice was much, battered much for her violent. televised description of the deadly September 2012 attack on the U.S. mission in Benghazi. We do not have information at present that leads us to conclude that this was premeditated or preplanned. Republicans were furious she did not call it a terrorist attack, and their opposition led Mr. Obama to nominate John Kerry over Rice as Secretary of State. Everyone. But Mr. Obama has always considered her a trusted advisor. While at the U.N., she advocated for intervention in Libya and pushed new economic sanctions against North Korea and Iran through the Security Council. Susan understands that there's no substitute for American leadership. Uh, she is at once passionate and pragmatic. Uh, I think everybody understands Susan is a fierce champion for justice and human dignity. Uh, but she's also mindful that we have to exercise our power wisely and deliberately. As for his U.N. pick, Samantha Power is a former White House aide. She has led efforts to alleviate suffering in places like Darfur and has worked to strengthen U.S. alliances. To those who care deeply about America's engagement and indispensable leadership in the world, you will find no stronger advocate for that cause than Samantha. The president appoints his national security advisor, leaving Republicans powerless to stop Susan Rice's promotion. The Senate does confirm the U.N. ambassador, and Samantha Power has already attracted support from key Republicans like John McCain. Major, thanks.